fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Capture and Crush truck from the Jurassic World Dominion line from Mattel. So you can see here it comes in this open style packaging. You have the truck here with a little Raptor that's included. And then the other accessories are kind of bubbled onto the card back here. I'm surprised it doesn't come with any human figures. You would think it would come with at least one human figure to drive the truck, but I guess not. If we spin it around to the back, you can see here that it has kind of battle damage places where the Raptor can attack the truck and you have pieces that fly off, which definitely reminds me of the original Lost World line. I had a lot of vehicles where it had a spot, I think the original Jurassic Park had this as well, where they could kind of like hit an actuator that would make part of the truck fly off, which I think is really fun. It's kind of a cool play feature. There's also a little spot in the back to capture the Raptor. It's got this claw up here, uh, missile launching, all kinds of stuff like that. And it also, I think all the toys this time have this like little DNA thing you can scan if you get an app for your phone. I'm not going to show that part off, um, but I think that's kind of neat. It's another cool little built-in play feature. So that's pretty much it for the packaging for this one. Pretty basic. I'm going to go ahead, get out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here's everything you get in the box. A little bit of light assembly required. We'll get there in a moment. First off, let's take a look at the little Raptor. Pretty nice paint job. I really like the eye. I think that looks really sharp. He's got this kind of brown uh, splotching on the back here in the head. When you open up the mouth, really nicely painted there. All the teeth, the tongue, all that's really nicely painted. So you have the opening and closing jaw there. You have a hinge front to back, as well as a rotation side to side. And then everything else is just kind of your basic swivel. So you have the arms that can swivel back and forth. The legs can kind of swivel back and forth. And then you have a little bit of a tail spin here. Some of the joints are kind of tight, so it's a little difficult to get them to move, but they totally can. But he's definitely not one of the more articulated figures, but he's got kind of basic articulation. He has this thing on the back where you just go ahead and you pull this up. And you can see on this side it has the little classic uh, Jurassic Park T-Rex symbol there. And then over here it has this kind of like what they're calling like a DNA helix. And you scan this with the app, and then I, I don't know exactly what it does, but there is some kind of companion app that you can get. To scan all these toys so it's kind of neat that it doesn't actually pull all the way out because it'd be very easy to lose these and then you just kind of have like a giant gap in the middle of your uh, dyno but it just kind of pops up you can't pull it all the way out so it blends in decently i mean it's not perfect but it blends in fairly decently i just i love the mouth i think they did such a good job with that and the eyes the eyes are really nice so we'll put him off to the side for the moment and here is the capture and crush truck rolls very nicely let me zoom out a little bit here so we can get the whole scope so like i said there is a little bit of light assembly required uh this piece comes attached already there's a little panel here that you pop in you pop the missile launcher on top and then load the missile and then you kind of pop the crane here with the spring-loaded capture claw and then you have these chains which are kind of a weird gummy plastic um they're very squishy. They're almost a little sticky. They're not... They kind of reminds me of... Have you seen those things where like you kind of like fling them and they stick to the wall? It kind of reminds me of that kind of plastic. Um, but they're not super sticky. I always hate that kind of stuff because it attracts all kinds of lint and dust and everything like that. But I don't think these will be too bad. But you can see here that they just have little hooks. And so you just kind of grab one of the hooks on this side. And you pop it on. And then you bring this around here and you latch it onto that hook there. Um, now you're supposed to put the dyno in here and then put the chains down, but as you can see, it doesn't really stop him from leaving. It just kind of goes on top. I guess you could do something where if you wanted to kind of like loop this around and then attach it on, so that way he's, he's kind of chained up like that, and that works a little bit. Um, I guess that's kind of why they made them out of the squishy plastic so that you could do something like that where you could actually chain it around the dinos. Because if you just put it over top, he's just going to run right out the back. So at least if you do something like this, it'd be a little bit harder for him to escape. So I'm going to go ahead and just take him out for now. And then I'm going to take these little chain things off for now as well. Just so we can get a better look at the back of the truck bed here. Um, so you do have another one of those DNA things you can scan with the phone. You've got some pegs here, so if you wanted to just load up figures and just have them stand back here just for transport, you could do that. You've also got some pegs here on the side, so you could load figures there as well. You can see that there is another one of these ports here, so if you wanted to move the missile launcher, you can just pop it off and pop it over here on this side. If you wanted to move the crane over here, 
just pop it off, pop it over here. Very simple to do. So that's kind of neat. I like how they had that kind of universal, uh, you know, juncture where you can just kind of move these all around. So I think that's kind of cool. You can see the front area here. There's actually no door to get in and out for the figures. The only way to access it is with the play feature. So you can see here, if I zoom in a little bit, there's kind of like a scrape molded in, like claws for a dino. So what you're supposed to do is hit the button and then you pop that off. And then you can see we have uh, two seats inside. Now I don't have any of the figures for Jurassic World handy. Uh, so I have this uh, Horatio Sands from The Mandalorian from the Star Wars Vintage Collection helping me out. It's kind of a tight fit. Uh, four inch figures do not really fit, but because these are three and three quarter inch, they do. So you should be able to get two in there. I still think it's going to be kind of a tight fit, but you can at least get one in there. And you can see he sits in there pretty well. And then you just take this and kind of pop this back in. And that's very simple. And that pegs right back in there. You also have this little panel here on the side. Where if you hit this, well, this must not be pegged in all the way. There you go. So that'll pop off. So that's another spot where the dinosaurs can damage the truck. And that this one doesn't pop off with that as much force. This one I feel like launches a decent little bit. This one just kind of like sadly falls off. So it's all right though. I think it's kind of neat. It's kind of a fun little play feature there. The missile launcher. Let me zoom back out. Pretty simplistic. I mean, it's what you'd expect. Oh, you know what? Oh, now this thing just pops off without me doing anything. I'm kind of hoping that the spring doesn't malfunction over time, but we'll see. A uh, pretty basic little missile launcher here. You can see that the firing mechanism is right here. Um, you have a little joysticks or control, whatever you want to call this, something that a, uh, one of the figures can grab onto if it wants to man the missile launcher. And then you just hit the button. And it fires pretty well. <laughs> this one's very spring-loaded. The missile is hollow underneath, which is kind of a bummer. But decently molded up top. And then this just pops in there like that. And again, fires very well. So the missile launcher, no issues firing with that. And we'll pop that in. Uh, and then the last thing really to show off is this crane. So you can obviously move like this. You have a swivel. You can hear the nice ratchet there. Uh, it's a little loose in the back here, though, because it kind of has this joint right here where this pin is, and that's kind of loose. And then under that, it's got a swivel. You can see right here where that, like, this is one solid piece down to here, and then that kind of swivels around, and that's really loose. I don't know why that's so loose, but it is a spring-loaded uh, claw, so it kind of opens up, and then you let go, it'll immediately close up. So basically, you get your little raptor, you come down, you grab them around like a crane game, and then you bring them up, and then you load them into the back here, and then I guess you release them. So it's an alright gimmick. Uh, it's kind of neat that you can reach down and grab the dino, but I feel like if I'm grabbing him with this, and then how am I loading him in here and, and getting the chains on in time and he's not trying to escape, I don't know logistics. In any case, uh, I think it's kind of fun. I really like the truck. I think the truck is really cool. I like the gimmicks with the like exploding battle damage on the side. I wish this one was a little better and maybe mine's just kind of a bum spring. It might just be a QC issue and hopefully, you know, the springs on others are a little better, but this one works really well. That really flies right off of there. I wish there was a way to get in and out of the cab without having to, you know, blast the front off. It's not a big problem. It just would have been a lot easier to do. Um, I think that would have been nicer to have. But that loads in pretty well. The missile launcher is cool. Like I said, I like that they have the ports that you can move everything around. So you don't have to have these in one spot only, which I appreciate. And then the chains. I don't know. The chains are a little weird. I don't really know what I expected. But they're just like a little gummy, which I think is kind of strange. But you can just kind of clip these around like so. And I guess I'll just store them there. Now, if I wanted to have, you know, other characters, other figures peg in, you'd have to move the chains. But I guess you could just kind of put them... There's not really a great place for them to store when you're not using them. I mean, I guess you could just lay them in here. Um, I do kind of wish that there was somewhere you could store them, maybe on the bottom or something. I don't really know what you would do, but it would be nice to have somewhere where you could put them when you're not using them. That way you could have characters stand in here until it's time to capture a dino. But it rolls well. 
I do like that. I, overall, I like the design of the truck. I think most of the play features are pretty cool. I like the exploding front section. I like the missile launcher. The crane is all right. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's just kind of there. The chains are, again, all right. Not really great. Not really terrible. And then this one over here, you know, just doesn't really launch off as much as I'd like. But it's not bad. And I think the little raptor friend is very cool. So I do really wish the set came with a human character. Because I feel like you need someone to drive the truck. But I guess they just expect you to buy human characters from all the other sets that they have. So, um, you know, when I eventually get... I do have a couple human character packs. So when I, I get to them, I'll have to bring this back and make sure that they can fit inside. But yeah, overall, I think it's kind of cool. I think this was, I want to say, $30 at Target. Um... It's maybe a little much for what it can do, but it does have a decent amount of play features. It is a nice size for the vehicle. I mean, theoretically, you could fit two characters in here, maybe one on each side, and probably at least three or four in the back. So you really could hold a lot of characters. Um, the spring-loaded, you know, crane game in the back here is okay. I just wish it had, you know, if you made it, if it was $30 and it also had a human figure, I'd say that's a great deal. If it was like $35 and it had a human character, I'd say okay. Um... I do really like the little raptor, though. He doesn't have a ton of posability, but it's fairly decent. And I do really like the paint. I think they did a really nice job with the detailing. The head especially with the mouth and the eyes really, really look sharp. So, I mean, if you can find this one on sale, if there's some kind of sale. At Tar I mean, Target has sales all the time. You know, spend this, get this much off, or buy one, get one half off, or something like that. I think this is definitely worth checking out. It's, it's a nice toy. I think it's fun. I just definitely feel like it's missing a human character to go with it. That would have really complete the set for me. Uh, otherwise, like I said, play features are decent. Some work better than others, but overall, I think it's kind of cool. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.